Welcome to Barbecue Dragon Exotic Barbecue. Today on Barbecue Dragon Exotic Barbecue, we have an exciting and tasty looking set of llama short ribs. I love short ribs actually. They are probably one of my favorite dishes. Uh, however, I don't normally put them on the grill. I do a short rib like you would do a pot roast with a, a long, slow cook until it's tender and it falls off the bone. But we wanted to be able to put these llama short ribs on the grill since this is exotic barbecue. So, in any case, uh, what we did do is pre-cook these in the sous vide bath uh, for about a day in order to tenderize the meat, but not so much that it made it too tender to put on the grill. So what we're hoping is that we're gonna put it on the grill baste it in this uh, butter, paprika, and garlic sauce that I've made and end up with a really nice crispy outside and tender inside short rib. Those look great. Yeah, yeah, the bones are falling out now. Yep. We lost a so, couple of them in the fire. They're nicely charred. Just what we were anticipating. They look good. They're fun. I don't have any of the, the odd llama taste I had from uh, the llama neck. The way that you saw the ribs falling out as you were trying to grill them, I'm afraid if we'd sous vide it very much more and made them really soft, like I like a short rib out of the, the uh, oven under the plate, it would have just been too soft to grill. Such an interesting taste. There's no cumin in here, but I feel like it. I'm getting a spicy, exotic taste, like a taste of cumin from this llama. Yeah, maybe it's uh, the, the grasses they eat or something, but it definitely has an herbal taste to this meat. And uh, this is a very nice way to have these little llama ribs. Yep, not bad at all. I like it. Yeah. That's a, a pretty cool rib at your barbecue. All right, good job. Let's see, they came out pretty well. Llama short ribs. Where did I go, 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 go.